challenge. Um, how can we make the following paragraph more fluent? The countess smiled wickedly as she eyed the small duke. The duke edged away in fear. The room was silent. The only sound was the ticking of the clock. The countess asked softly, Can you tell me what has become of my prized giraffe? The duke squirmed uncomfortably because all eyes were on him. So, would anybody like to tell me what's wrong with this passage? Um, you keep starting the sentences with the... Very good! You identified what is wrong with this passage. So let's have another look at our sentence fluency checklist. Fluent writing is variety. Sentences are a variety of length. Sentences begin with a variety of words. And sentences are put together in a variety of ways. So when we look at our passage with all the thes circled, it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five thes. And it starts pretty much every sentence. So, how could we rewrite this? Does anybody have some ideas? Uh, Joey. Okay, so you could replace some words. Why don't we try to write a revised version? and keep some of the information too. So it starts with the countess smiled wickedly. Maybe we could say smiling wickedly the countess eyed the small duke. Uh, so instead of starting with though we could start with describing what the countess is doing. She's smiling wickedly. So we put smiling wickedly, comma, the countess eyed the small duke. The duke edged away in fear. Hmm. Let's see, how, is there a way we could replace the here? Okay. Um, you could do, um, edged away in fear, he asked, what is the count of that last draft? Oh, okay, well it was originally the count is saying that actually, but we could do something like, as the duke edged away in fear, the Maybe. We see the original paragraph one more time. Sure, I would be happy to do that. I think that would be helpful. Um, the countess smiled wickedly as she eyed the small duke. So we have smiling wickedly. The countess eyed the small duke. The duke edged away in fear. The room was silent. The only sound was the ticking of the clock. The countess asked softly, "Can you tell me what has become of my prized giraffe?" The duke squirmed uncomfortably because all eyes were on him. So maybe we could do something like, edging away in fear, the duke squirmed uncomfortably because all eyes were upon him, so we could maybe switch the order around a little bit. Maybe that would, um, that would make it better. So as the duke edged away in fear, he squirmed uncomfortably because all eyes were upon him. The, the countess asked softly, or let's see, we could just start with, quote, can you tell me what has become of my prized giraffe? The countess asked softly. Okay, great, so now we switched the order around a little bit and we were able to make it more fluent. So this is just one way we could rewrite it. And here's another way. I am the small duke, so that's what we did. I am the small duke, the countess smiled wickedly. The little man edged away in fear. Save for the ticking of the clock, the room was silent. Can you tell me what has become of my prized giraffe? The countess asked softly. All eyes were upon the duke, who squirmed uncomfortably. So if we take a look at our version, we can see that we uh, did some of the same things. So we put smiling wickedly here in the beginning. Uh, we also um, put, let's see, we uh, switched the order around here and we put the dialogue first. So we did some of the same things actually, but we managed to make it a different sentence and much more fluent than the original. Very good.